Hey guys, how are you? <clears throat> we are here with another video for the Pick Your Passion Art Hop. And I will tell you to start with that there's some really talented people in the, har in the hop this month. So I would appreciate it if you uh, watch the video, my video all the way through first, but then don't forget before you leave to check the video description for all those other links. And when you get back to my video, you know you've seen them all. Okay, so this month we're gonna play with some more watercolor. I saw this on the internet somewhere. I don't remember where. It might have been a stencil girl, like Instagram video kind of thing. I don't remember, to be honest. Um, it could have been YouTube, I don't know. Um, but it was um, basically watercoloring with stencils, but a different way than we did it last time. So I've got a piece of watercolor paper here, and the first thing I'm going to do is um, tape off a square shape in the middle-ish with some painter's tape, and hopefully I do it straight, sort of. We'll see, I guess. All right. So this is just your standard blue painter's tape from the hardware store, nothing special. So I saw them do this on a video and I thought it was interesting enough that I really, really, really needed to try it. It's a little better. I am just like fumble fingers today. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not measuring anything, obviously. I do have a stencil here next to me. It is not not one of my own this time. This is um, a crafter's workshop stencil, designed by Jamie. Um, it's a really cool botanical one that's new to me. Is there a name on it? Mini Vines, TCW187S Mini Vines. And it looks like that. So, all right, so we've got our tape on here. All right. I'm gonna use my Koi watercolors. I'm gonna go get my spray bottle. I also need to plug the heat tool in and I'll be right back. I guess while I was up, paint brushes would have been helpful too, don't you think? And maybe the water. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my spray bottle here and I'm going to just give the watercolors a spritz. And then do I want to put the stencil on first? Do I want to give it a background first? I think I want to give it a little bit of a background first. So. Um, what we're going to do is take a flat brush. This is a Princeton Neptune half inch flat. It would be helpful if I actually put these on my eyeballs. Yeah, half inch flat. Okay, and we're going to take a blue here. I'm going to go with a cerulean blue. And then I'm going to add some extra water. So it's kind of watery and thin, light. And we're going to just do this. Splatter, splatter, and add some water. Diffuse some of the dark spots a little bit. Okay. Then we're gonna dry it. Okay, now I wanna add a little bit of green before we put the stencil on. So I'm gonna go with the uh, permanent green pail. I'm going to just add some of it to the blue that we already used. And then again, 
diffuse the color a little bit. And give it a dry. Okay, now we're gonna take a uh, pixie spray. It's a light tack repositionable adhesive intended for stencils. I had to order this from Amazon. Um, I couldn't find any place that had it in stock locally. And you maybe could use something else, but the video I saw, they use this. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna spray this and stick it down. I guess I should read the directions first. So it says to shake well, of course, hold it 12 inches from the stencil, um, spray out basically a light coating of the adhesive on the stencil, let it dry for a minute, and then press the stencil to the project. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back.
Should we see what happened? Oops, shaky camera, sorry. Should we see what happened? This is literally my first time trying this. I've not tried it ahead of turning the camera on. Let's find out. Okay, that's cool. That's so cool. Look. Repositionable adhesive for your stencil. So cool. Okay, let me do a little more to it. Hang on. So here, here you go. Look at that. I love it. I went around the outside edge with my colored pencil and I did sign it. Um, the painter's tape give, leaves you with this nice clean edge. Um, so if you're creating something that you might want to frame or make a print of, that's a, uh, um, a good thing to just keep in mind. You don't always have to paint to the edge of the paper. Um, but look at the way this turned out. Watercoloring with uh, stencils. 
in a different way than we did last time, but a no less exciting way to use your watercoloring and your stencils um, together in your mixed media projects. And a little bit of co uh, green colored pencil added something really nice to the project. I really love it. I really love it. Uh, I'll be doing this again. Yeah, I'm. if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm passionate about watercolor. I love watercoloring. I also love my stencils. Now I can use them together. I love that. All right, that's it for right now. Please don't forget to go and check out the other videos in the hop. Um, give everyone a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if you will. Um, I also have a link tree uh, link in the description. Um, if you click on it, you can find a bunch of places to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. You can also just find the places to follow me on Instagram and see what kind of crazy art stuff I get up to on a daily basis or nearly daily basis. Um, wow, I think that's it for right now. Um, so check out that video description. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm going to go back to stenciling with my watercolors because this is really cool. Um, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.